Generate Azure Access Token from Postman Tool very quickly. Hello, everyone. Today in this video, I will show you how to generate an Azure Access Token quickly using the Postman Tool at the high level. These are the steps involved to generate an Access Token using the Postman Tool. You need to register an app in Azure AD. Then, you need to configure API permissions. Then, you need to generate client secret. Then using this endpoint URL, we can get the access token right. So you can see, this is the format of how the client ID, client secret, and scope parameters are to be passed. I'm not explaining the steps one to three, as I have already created. A separate video on how to create app registration in the Azure portal. You can watch that video. From my channel, I will mention the video link in the comment section. In my app registration video, I have explained the best way to create a new app registration. Now, here in this video, I will show you how quickly I can generate the access token using the Postman tool. Then, you can use that token in your application for the integration. So, Basically, I need three input values for this process for my app registration in Azure. These are tenant ID, client ID, and client secret value. You can see those values on the screen, those I got. For my Azure app registration. Now I have to configure my endpoint in the Postman tool. Here is my Azure app registration. I have used this for this demo. So this is my tenant ID and this is my client ID. This is my client secret, which I got it from here. So I have these three values. I've copied them and I will go ahead and start configuring my API endpoint to generate access token very quickly in the Postman tool. So let's go to my Postman tool. This is my Postman tool from there Go to the authorization tab, then select the auth type as OAuth 2.0. Then go to the configure new token section. We need to pass the access token name. You can give any name and grant type. I have selected client credentials. You can see the other options available for the grant type. Here, I'll go with this client credentials. Then pass the access token URL, get it from your notepad. The URL should be as is, only you need to pass your tenant ID. Here I have just replaced the tenant ID with my tenant ID, right? So this is the tenant ID in this endpoint URL. That's it. I don't have to do any changes in this URL. And this is the client ID got from my Azure app registration. And this is the client ID got from my Azure app registration. And this is the client secret value for my app registered in Azure. You can see the scope parameter as well as how I have passed it. Client authentication. Select as send as basic auth header. Then you need to scroll down where you can see the get new access token button, click on it. You will see a message, something like this dialog box will automatically close in a few seconds. This is the access token that got generated from Azure app registration. Now you can use this access token value in your application for the integration. So let's click on this use token button right. So automatically this token will be used for your subsequent API call from your Postman tool. You can see the token type or header prefix as bearer. And this is the token I just created, which I can use in my application. This is how very quickly we can create Azure Access token using the Postman tool. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on
Microsoft's latest technologies like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and many more. Kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.